الله الكبير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم والنعمين الله الكبير Again, we are grateful that uh, we are here, and, and this is a, uh, by divine design and by divine providence, and, and we should be grateful to God to give us another chance that, that and we are here and we can redeem ourselves. And, and um, basically go through this evolution of the soul and, uh, and uh, make a better person out of ourselves. So that's something that we should keep in mind that uh, this blessing that God has given us, uh, again, it's not by accident, it's by God's will and design. And so should, we should be grateful eternally to God for this. And uh, <clears throat> uh, remember that this is uh, something that we should cherish and keep in mind that uh, um, the worthiness that we have today that... Uh, to receive this blessing is is uh, something to to be uh, cherished and to be uh, uh, taken to heart and uh, so we are we are again very grateful to God for this and <clears throat> gratefulness and appreciativeness is a godlike quality uh, God is always um, um, appreciative and grateful to us for what we do and when we obey his commandments and obey his his instructions, he is grateful, and so we should uh, uh, actually repay in kind and and be grateful to God for all the blessings that He has given us. Um, <clears throat> today, what I wanted to to discuss with you is I want to go to this, and I've done this before, but I want to I want to stress on this. This is um, chapter fifty nine, which is called uh, uh, let's see, it's called. Exodus, I believe. And let's see here. Yes, the Exodus. Al-Hashr. So what I wanted to do, I want to go to the last four verses of this chapter. And uh, I have something in mind, and we'll go through this journey together today, and, and uh, uh, we want to see who God is and why He does things that He does. Okay, and this is... This is something that uh, a lot of people are puzzled uh, and um, and do not understand who God is, and that's that's something that we should we should keep in mind that that He introduces Himself to us and He tells us why He does things. Okay, um, this is uh, verse twenty-one of chapter fifty-nine. And had we revealed this Quran to a mountain, uh, you would have seen it humbling itself reverently due to fear of God. And these are examples that we cite for the people that they may think. Okay. So this is this is the awesomeness of the Quran. And we have seen aspects of it that basically uh, looks so humbling to us that that it makes us at all with God's creation, okay? And then he goes further and he says that he is God. Okay, so this is what we have to accept, that he is God. The one whom there is no other God except he. So he's alone. God is alone. Okay? God is alone, but he's not lonely. You have to remember this. Okay? Okay? He is the knower of all secrets and declarations. He is the all gracious, the all merciful. And <clears throat> this, the, the way that his attributes are put into these, the context of these verses is very interesting. And we have to, we have to pause and, and think about it a little bit. Um, he says that he is... He is the knower of all seekers and declarations. So it means that he knows everything we do. It can be it good or bad. It doesn't matter. We do it publicly or privately. It doesn't matter. He knows that. 
Okay. And then two more attributes are coming, and these attributes are exactly the attributes that he describes himself in the opening statement of the Quran. He is the all-gracious, the all-merciful. In spite of the fact that he sees what they are doing, again publicly or privately, he shows up with his grace and mercy. Okay? That is amazing. I mean, I, you know, there are a lot of people who do a lot of bad things. A lot of people who, you know, steal, cheat, kill people, all kinds of things, publicly or privately. And then God introduces himself, he is the all-gracious, the all-merciful. Even there is hope for those guys who do bad things. Isn't that good news? Okay? This is the good news that God has given us. And no matter what you do, this is a constant. His grace and His mercy is a constant, and it's not going to change. Okay. He's God, the one whom there is no other God except He. He is the King, the Holy, the Peace, the Faithful, the Sovereign, the Almighty, the Enforcer, the All-Magnificent. Glory to God far above the partners they set up beside him. Okay? So these are God's names. These are some of God's names. He is the king. It's the true king is God. Al-Malik. The holy. The peace. God is not war. He is the peace. The faithful. He's faithful to us. He never betrays us. We do it the other way. We are the ones who betray God. Publicly or privately. And then he gives us the good news that in spite of those things, uh, I'm the all-gracious, the all-merciful. Okay? The enforcer. He enforces his laws. God's laws never change. The all magnificent. Glory to God far above the partners they set up beside him. Finally, verse twenty four. He is God the creator, the initiator, the designer. To him belong the most beautiful names. Glorify him constantly is everything in the vacuum and matter. And he's the almighty, the all-wise. Okay. Can you believe this? So he does all of these things, and yet we have no faith in him. You don't trust him. Okay. We have doubts that he's the one who takes care of us. He's the one who initiated us. He's the one who creates us. He's the one who designs us. And God says, to him belongs the most beautiful names. And then glorify him constantly. It's everything in the vacuum and matter, and he's the almighty, the all-wise. Two more of his attributes. The Almighty. God is the Almighty. The All-Wise. Okay. So, when we read these verses, and we have to take it to heart, that He is the Creator. He is the Initiator. He is the Designer, or the one that has, has a picture of everything. 
that the design is preordained to him belong the most beautiful names then glorify him constantly is everything in vacuum and matter and he is the almighty the all wise okay so what I wanted to do is I wanted to go to And here we go to uh, picture of Neptune from the Webb Telescope. So this is a picture of Neptune taken from from near Earth, okay, from this new um, telescope that started working in space called the Webb Telescope. And as we see, the beauty of it is absolutely mind-boggling, okay? This spacecraft actually senses heat from these objects. And you see the glow, the glow in Neptune is because the internal heat that Neptune has. And the slightest heat is going to create an image. Okay. Right. And so, he is the creator. He is the one who created this. Okay. That's the beauty of this thing. We're at all just looking at this picture. This picture could not be taken two years ago. It's only possible to take it right now. And Neptune also has rings. Rings are not as pronounced as the one in Saturn, but it has rings. Can you imagine this? I mean, this is taken from near Earth, which is a few million kilometers from Earth. And, and we have this picture today. And God had provided this knowledge to us that we can actually do this. Okay? And we are at all just looking at this. Just like he says in chapter 67. Okay? He says, look... Very well. So he does all of these things for us. And as I said, okay, he shows us. He shows us what our own hands actually made. We made these things. I mean, I'm just we as a sort of a royal we. Some other scientists did this. I didn't do it. Okay. And but human beings in general. 
So, okay, let me stop here and we'll finish this unit. Allah Kabir. Subhan Rabbi Al Azim. Allah Kabir. Allah Kabir. Subhan Rabbi Al Azim. Allah Kabir. Allah Kabir. Subhan Rabbi Al Azim. الله الكبير الله الكبير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين نهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم وعيد المغضوب عليهم والله الله الكبير Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go to the last verse, 5924. And the first name that God refers to himself as is Al-Khaliq, or the Creator. Okay, so now God is the Creator. Now the question is, why is he doing this? Why is he creating? Okay. We just read here that in this one, God is he's saying that he is God. This is verse 22. The one whom there is no other God except he. He is the knower of all secrets and declaration. He is the all-gracious, the all-merciful. The next verse says, <clears throat> he is God. <clears throat> the one whom there is no other God except he. He is the King, the Holy, the Peace, the Faithful, the Sovereign, the Almighty, the Enforcer, the All-Magnificent. What He is doing, God is doing here, He is showing His Majesty through what He creates. That's what this word is. The word that in Arabic is called Al-Mutakabbir. Right there, the all magnificent. Okay, he shows his greatness through his creation, and God is telling us that that the creation of God is also He creates things that we do not know, <clears throat> that you and I have no knowledge of the creation that He does. And the extent of the creation, we have no idea. But what he does, what he does, is that the the magnificent magnificence of God is shown through his creation. Everything that he does. And so, as I said, we are privy to some of these pictures now. This picture of his creation that he has created. So we can look at these pictures and be at all. Okay. So, you know, this 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 comes to be that. Then he says, we just read this in this in this chapter. So that Verse 24, he is God, the creator, the initiator, the designer. To him belong the most beautiful names. Glorify him constantly is everything in the vacuum and matter. And he is the almighty, the all wise. That's exactly what we see in this picture. This picture of Neptune, that means Neptune and its rings. Okay. Those things are actually glorifying God. They're glorifying and magnifying God constantly. 
that his greatness, there is no end to it. Okay. We, as I said, we could not see this picture two years ago because we didn't have this equipment there. The reason that this is shining so brightly is not because of the reflection of sun on this thing. It's because of the internal heat that this planet actually generates. You have no idea. This cannot be seen with the naked eye. Okay. It had to be something that, that's sensitive to heat. The smallest variation of heat is going to reflect itself in some kind of, some kind of uh, optical image of this thing. That we can do this coloring of this thing according to the, to the wavelength of the heat that we see from this planet and its rings. Okay. So, so what God does What God does here, the all-magnificent, he shows his magnanimity. He shows his majesty through the creation that he does. So sometimes you are at awe with the creation of God. We look at something and we're just absolutely fascinated. That's when you are actually glorifying God without even knowing that. Okay. Sometimes you're at all with God's creation that, well, you know, how is this possible? Or how is this done? That beauty of creation, okay, and with the infinite diversity of the creation that God has, it actually reveals itself in the glory of God. That how majestic God is. And we'll see that he is the king. Okay? That majesty comes from his kingship. That he is the king. And he shows that majesty through that creation that he does. So all of us is a sign from God. The way that we are created. And so we have to respect that. And we have to take it to heart. Okay. This is the beauty of creation. As I said, he also creates what we do not know. So, when God says here, glorifying constantly is everything in the vacuum and matter, and he is the almighty, the all-wise, then this actually, what it does, it humbles his creation, his entire creation, which we have no clue of what the extent of that creation is. And the creation actually is, is a testament to the truth of God because that's what God explains in the Quran. And he says that the truth actually, once it is the truth, once the truthfulness of something is established, it is immediately created because God says so. So everything we see from his creation is based on the truth. So it testifies to the truth of God. And that is another name that God has. He is the truth. Okay. So you can either imagine that creation is the result of the truth or the truth is a result of creation. Either way. That without the truth, creation would not exist. And if the creation is there, it is the truth.
So that's what we have, and that's why it says, to him belong the most beautiful names. Okay. So all of those names that we see in the Quran, describing who God is and why he does things, it becomes more and more clear to us why he does it. Okay. And that beauty that goes along with that creation, okay, the flawlessness of that is because because glorify him constantly is everything in vacuum and matter. And he's the almighty, the all wise. They glorify him constantly. Neptune has been like that for billions of years. Just like this. And it doesn't change. It keeps glowing like that. Okay? It's, it's awesome to look at. And so we enjoy looking at it. As I said, the different aspects of that picture keeps coming as we progress in science. So if you think of it that way, that means that what happens really is the fact that God's greatness is actually increasing in our mind and our heart. And there is no end to it. Because every time we look at a new instrument that by God's design is actually um, inspired to us, we see a different aspect of his creation. And that is the mind-boggling part. As I said, this thing which is based on infrared, that means heat. This is the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum which is based on heat. Okay? Infrared. It means it's lower than red. We can't see it with the naked eye. We can only see the visible region. We cannot see the, the infrared. This, this instrument can see infrared. And so we are privileged to see this picture. And again, we go back to this, that we become part of this group, part of these things, glorifying him constantly is everything in the vacuum and matter. And he's the almighty, the all-wise. So we become part of this nature of things. Okay. I'm going to stop here and we'll finish our drama. Allahum kabir. Subhanallah.